your company most of all reflects you, right? Not reflects on you, reflects you, <laughs> right? Like you will look in the mirror one day at the company you created and you will see yourself, right? For good and for bad. <laughs> you will see every, especially if you're the founder, you are going to see reflected back to you everything that, um, that you are. So the question is, who are you? I mean, really, who are you, right? I often say to undergrad classes, what is your trademark strength? Everybody here know what their trademark strength is? If you know what your trademark strength is, put up your hand. Six people in the room know what their trademark strength is. Interesting, right? You're about to go build an entire company around yourself. What is your role to play in that? You know, it's the most interesting thing to me about trademark strengths is, and I say to every single person is, you know, as we grow up, we have the sense of who we are. And as we go to school and we think of what we're good at, but often without anybody to reflect it back to us, you know, it's not a precise picture, right? And it's, it's so interesting to me that when I was, I don't know, I think I was probably 16, 17, I was in my final two years of high school, and we had a television studio. And I thought I might want to become a television director because we could film video, uh, videos and documentaries, and it's uh, something that I loved. And I had, I think I was applying to school, and I had a scholarship application, and my television arts teacher wrote a uh, reference for me. And I got to read the reference, you know, as I was sending it in. And it was like, it was like what is Sukinder's best quality? And he was like, empathy. Totally didn't expect that answer. I was like, empathy? What? Like, he didn't say intelligent. He didn't say smart. He didn't say quick-witted. He didn't say any of things. He said empathy, right? It was like such an odd reflection to me of myself, right? You know, 20 years later, or whatever it is, maybe more, if I, like I said, I can't even calculate my age, um, I sit back and I'm like, I get it, you know? Because now having been a leader for 20 years, it is amazing to me, even though I am a very difficult person to work for, right, and very tough, how empathetic people who've worked with me think I am. I had no freaking clue. It would not be the first word I used to describe myself, right? But it, I will tell you that now when I look back, I was like, yeah, he was absolutely right. It's what defines me as a leader. Who knew? Like, who knew that people will work for me again and again and again because they think I'm invested in who they are? No clue, right? But it is part of what helps me build a company. It's part of what lets me be an entrepreneur again, right? It's part of what, you know, helps me bring it, build a team rapidly because people want to work for me, right? Great, <laughs> you know, but it wasn't that it was architected. It was just, it was a reflection back to me of who I am, right? And so I think one of the things in your journey to whatever you do, whether it's being an entrepreneur, whether it's being an executive, whether it's, you know, joining a startup, whatever it is, is understanding who you are. Because your trademark strength has a great deal to do with the company you're going to build. 